Okay, so we have the rails. We can go ahead and put on the, the gantry side. On this side, we'll have these holes. There's three holes in the top and two holes in the bottom. This hole is for the V-groove bearing that's going to ride on the rail. Also, this is for the V-groove bearing, but we're also going to put on a, an idler sprocket on the outside and another idler sprocket on the outside of this. Um, and we'll have a V-groove bearing on the bottom for the bottom rail, um, here and here. And these V-groove bearings are able to be adjusted up and down and we'll have a screw that is going to push this bearing up to push against the rail so we can get it nice and tight. Okay, so for, for the most part, we're going to be using these components for the assembly of the V-groove bearing. Generally, we'll be using this type of washer to provide a spacer for the bearing so this washer doesn't touch the sides of the bearing, uh, preventing it from turning. So if I put this in the between the bearing, then the bearing can turn pretty easily. For this particular hole, we're going to have the bearing on this side. We will have the head of the screw on this side as well, so we can have the screw protruding outwards. And the configuration is going to be like so. The bearing is going to go first, and then we'll have the small washer go on next, and then the larger washer will go against the wood. Okay, we're going to be only putting a nut on this side. We're not going to use a washer, but on these two we will be using a washer because they, they need to be adjusted and it's a lot easier to adjust with a washer on both sides. The screw and the nut we used is 3 eighths inch and the length 1 and 3 quarters inches. Okay, so for this next one we're going to be putting the sprocket, the idler sprocket in this location and the, the V-groove bearing on the other side. We'll be using a 2 inch 3 eighths inch screw and we'll be using two of the small washers and two of these washers. These tiny washers are, are for the V-groove bearing like we did on the last one and for the idler sprocket. For the bottom two uh, big groove bearings, we'll be using a one and three quarter inch, three eighths inch screw, uh, a nut of course, big groove bearing, and we'll have two of these so we can have adjustability uh, along the wood. Okay, so we need a way to, to adjust the, the V-groove bearings up and down. And we're going to be using a screw and a cross dowel. Put the screw in this way, cross dowel in here, and we'll screw this in. And the more we screw this in, the higher this V-groove will be. You can see it's moving down and it's moving up. And we'll do the same thing to this side. Now let's try to get this on the rails. And we can move it up with our fingers at first, get it into the rail, and then finger tighten it so it stays on the rail. And now we have the gantry side on the rail. You will notice that we didn't tighten these yet, so we'll have to put on the other side of the gantry and put on the gantry middle. And then once we do that, we can find out where these rails settle. And we'll fasten these in and we'll be nice and tight. Good. To finish up this gantry side, we'll be, we'll need another idler sprocket on this end. And we'll be using a one and a three, one and three quarter inch, three eighths inch screw. And we're using one of these little washers again for the idler sprocket, fasten it with a nut. Okay, we've already done this gantry side over here. You're looking at the other side of it. Um, and this gantry side holds a bearing, which is a quarter inch bearing, and it'll have a shaft coming through the bearing and the drive sprocket will be on the, the other side. This side holds the motor. The motor is gonna be on the inside of the gantry here. The shaft at this end will have the 
drive sprocket. And on the other end of the motor, where the rear shaft is, we'll have a coupling going to the other side. So let's go ahead and put this one up on the table and we're gonna do it exactly the same way we did it before on the other side. Okay, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to